Welcome back, guys. You're still watching the spots. And of course, it's time for today's top five. But before that, Namide has a special shout out. I do have a special shout out. I would like to say a very happy birthday to my one and only lovely, Popsicle. beautiful, awesome Popsicle, my dad, Mr. Laulu Akins. Happy birthday, yeah! Daddy. I love you very much. The Laulu Akins. Daddy Akins. Yeah. Happy okay. birthday, sir. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Let us know when we come and eat. <laughs> since. <laughs> Which he, used come, he used to come when, when my sister and I were in school on his birthday, he used to bring us food. Food. Bring us like snacks and things like that. Cool guy. Very cool guy. Oh. Alrighty. So Zina has a top five for us. Zina, what's the top five? <laughs> 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 you know what I love? When Ebuka wants to gossip for these something <laughs> stupid, his hand goes like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, but you your hand. Yes, I do have a top five. Um, I have a top five uh, list of spelling errors. <laughs> <laughs> we're all, um, you know, we're not, we're not exempt from uh, making spelling mistakes. But in at number five is a lot versus a lot so a lot where the a and the lot are separated mm -hmm. which is the correct way yes. and a lot where the a and the lot are joined together which is the wrong way thank you zainab what's number four you're welcome in at number four is definitely versus definitely definitely okay so definitely. definitely is spelt with an e not an a does so not like anywhere. define define <laughs> not <laughs> define it's Okay. 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 Um, next is there versus there, there. which oh, is okay, their oh, okay, possessive. Okay. Their own. Yeah, their own. And, then and there, which is they are. They are. Oh, yeah, okay. With the okay. apostrophe. Yeah. Then next one is um, your and your, but People you are life. So there's your, Ooh. which is this is your car yes. and there's your which is you are going somewhere i don't yes. know which is a big that i see that a lot on on twitter especially girl and in that number one is one You're that pressed. <laughs> yes i am pressed mm -hmm. and number in that number I mean. number one is one that i get like i get very very irritated about because i see it with celebrities i see it with grown people that shouldn't make this mistake wow. it's am and oh, I am. So I'm A M and I'm I apostrophe M. Okay. So M is the wrong way to use. When you're term. saying when you're I saying am. I am. Thank you very much, Just Zainab. This your top five was very I don't know. What? Quite harsh. Were you? It's quite you harsh in what sense? I'm helping people. Can you remove your hand? <laughs> I'm helping people <laughs> spell better. Thank you. And um, I'm sure they are very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you are. Because the next time you go uh, and fill in an application form, I'm not going to be there to help you. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> um, it's time for... You're about to introduce... I am about... I'm about to introduce a guest. I'm. I'm let me do, use the, the I right know, term. I uh, know. Okay. Thank you. I'm about to introduce the guest of the day. A beautiful <laughs> singer, extremely talented. She is the one, the only Afro soul singer. <laughs> is Ruby Gyan. Yeah. In the Ruby, the Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. in the building. What y'all know about that? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I Can I just say that Ruby has a special type of walk really? that I've, I've noticed. No. <laughs> like I, it's, it's sort of like a... A sachet. Yeah. Fash power walk. It's, it's quite cute. Have you noticed they have very bull legs? Oh, yes, sister. Exactly. So when you have bull legs, legs family it's club. You naturally sway, natural. Oh. Bull legs are very hot. Thank they you. Are. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. Welcome, Welcome home. to the spots. Welcome to the spots. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. I'm excited yeah. to have you here. <laughs> These guys will tell you. I think yeah. they're awesome. Um, so what's been up with you? What's going on? Ah, wow, a lot. I put out a song in June. It's titled Good, Good Man. Man. Mm. It's, you know, a song celebrating the men out there, mm -hmm. you know, and put out the video as well the response has been out of this world you know, we thank like, you for celebrating us they don't no. ever do that i'm sorry good why man. are you not why? he's not annoying one. that good man <laughs> wow <laughs> see don't mind them Dre. <laughs> celebrate, thank you. Baby. You. celebrate you you know but funny at first was supposed to be you know the song when i get married i'll sing for my husband Aww. i think Aww. i recorded it in 2012 and just dumped it okay. and then in 2013 my dad passed and I was listening to the song after and I realized that the song was actually talking about him. 
Aww. you know, and it's now is that song that I just used to celebrate how amazing he was and mm. you know the great awesome relationship I had with him, you know. But so after that I put out the video, um um and then a couple months later I find out I'm nominated at the Headies. <laughs> I'm telling you best yes. Exciting. Um, vocal performance female best alternative song you know and for me it's a big deal because for the four years i've been in lagos they've told me that my music can work afro soul soul mm -hmm. music can work you know and i was like well that's all i know how to do mm. so i'm just going to do it and trust that one way or the other you know it will work out and yeah. you know soon after i got nominated the exquisite lady of the yes. year awards again mm. i'm nominated for um nigerian music video awards you know, for a song that has no paging and no... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No giddy bag, giddy bag, giddy bag. You know, so <laughs> it's nice to see that people are appreciating different forms of music. Yeah. yeah. You know, here. So it's really been... Is, is, is there a specific, you know, good man in your life right hey. now? Hey. Funny enough, no. It's not funny. No. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> he's pressed. He's angry. He's like, what? <laughs> Why not? There is not. Why is that? Is it by choice or by default? <laughs> I think it's both. Okay. I think it's both. Music is my first love, you know. Mm. I've, I'm obsessed with it, obsessed, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So it's hard to be in a relationship when that's yeah. Really yeah. And you're you're trying to really I'm push out there. So, so, so you're, you're, you're obsessed time, with right? music. You're very passionate about the kind of songs you do. Yes. But you also say you hear a lot of people telling you this is not going to work here. Mm -hmm. So why do you keep doing it? I mean, it's there's going to be a point where you're like, you know what? Maybe not. Switch yeah. the genres or yes, drop yes. the music idea. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you keep just going on doing the same thing? You know, when you find something that makes you extremely happy, that is music for me. That's one. Two, I was privileged to meet Asha when I started out in music in 2010. And so I asked her, I was like, Asha, how did you do it? And she said, she said, believe in yourself. Be confident in what you're doing and wait for God's timing. Mm. And I'm seeing it four years later. Things are just falling into place without me having to struggle, mm. without me having to do weird things, you know. And... I just feel like what has happened to me is at every point that I wanted to quit, something would just happen mm. that would make me go on. You know, someone would say something to me or I would see something that's happened to someone else. Like, I'm a huge fan of Waje. Mm. And I can imagine, you know, she was here many, many years before yes. I did. And I've seen what has happened to her. I've seen what has happened to Bez, yeah. you know. And I'm like, well, I'm next. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Speak it forth. Yes, yeah. so, well, on that very inspirational <laughs> note, we're going to go on our first break. And when we come back, we're going to be digging into today's topic. So please stay tuned to the spot. Welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, you're just in time for our topic of the day. And today we're going a little bit serious. We're talking about child brides. Mm. And we'll have Ruby Giang in the house. Um, yes. It's a heavy topic, I think. Very and something I think a lot of Nigerians at least have an opinion on. Because mm -hmm. it's one of those things that actually happens around us. Mm -hmm. But um, I think we should start with what is a child bride? At what age do you consider a bride still a child? Um, the, okay, so defining what a child bride is, is um, basically a, somebody that's considered to be a child um, in a particular country who enters into a formal marriage. Mm -hmm. um, now, at what age are you even saying suitable to be? That, that doesn't really sit well with me because I don't, I don't believe that children are brides or they're, they're quite mature or ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of, um, depending on which country or culture you're in, it's determined by different things. So there are some cultures that say, you know, the moment you start menstruating, there are some that say um, the moment you start going out to work or legally it's when you're, um, you're considered to be an adult and you can make a decision. Then there are other cultures like the gypsies who from the age of 16 and so far as your parents are happy with it, then a lot of their children marry off pretty early from like 14 and so on. And the children want it like these ones want it it's not mm, even yeah. a joke there are shows about them planning their wedding yeah, i think i've seen that yeah moving into really? caravans and starting a life with like 20 something year old guys and it's a part of their culture like it's they don't even think about going to school or anything it's i get married and i take care of my husband yeah. mm. so i guess what we think we, with nigeria in context for example i guess you would look at what age is written as legally for you to legally be an adult mm -hmm. which is 18 here i yeah. think yeah. so anyone under 18 you would 16. say is a, is child, a child bride, bride. Mm -hmm. wow. that's a pretty high bar considering how things are here mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. which means we do have a lot of child brides here yes yeah. we do yeah um i grew up in zaria 
Zaria is... Um... The place is cold, man. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know that was the one place <laughs> I ever went to <laughs> for a wedding in January and people were wearing winter coats. Yes. Ah. It, I'm, kid, I'm not kidding you. It was, yeah, seven, yeah, it was seven degrees. Wow. We take a job. You see your stuff, thigh high yeah. moves, like our gloves. You can't, you like can't just throw it around. Okay. Yeah, it's and it's like that for months. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, sorry. <laughs> okay, so Zaria is like at the tip of the far north. After Zaria, you go to Kano, Katsina, yeah. Sokoto, you know. So growing up, we, that was normal because of the Muslim population yeah. there. It's, you know, predominantly that. So you'd see your classmate that people studied out with. And before you know it, she's no longer in school. And you find out that she's married. Primary school, by the way. I'm not talking about oh, wow. school. Wow. Yeah, you know, so. Um, wow. It's really young. That's yeah, 10, that's yeah, eight, yeah, it's eight, nine. You know, it's really, yeah. It's, it's, it's their, like you say, culture, you know. And, and the religion permits it. Yes, and the, you know, so it's. It's um. I have a ten-year-old daughter. I cannot even begin to <laughs> hmm. fathom. Think imagine yeah. anybody around her. <laughs> you know, fathom that. So, um, I don't know. You know that time where they had the senator that married the mm -hmm. little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's something but in the constitution that allowed it to happen. No, or that it prevented it. Was, it, was, it, was, like it was something. Yeah, there was, was a loophole. Was a loophole. Yeah. 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 You couldn't say no. It's it's she's yeah. a child. And he right. also married her from a different country. Like, she was <sighs> she was Egyptian. Wow. So yeah. according to their law, yeah, it's, it works. It's something I mean, that um, because we do have a lot of legal systems here, the Sharia law also has some yes. sort of it governs certain people. So people yes. say, okay, that's what we live by, even though the constitution yeah. is supreme. So like you said, there are loopholes, and it's something that people have continued to exploit. But then, how do you change a law that's based on religion without necessarily offending the, anyone? You know yes, what I mean? So yes. and even besides religion, even down south, there's a lot of cultures that don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. You see, you see people who are like, oh, she's ripe. Mm. She's okay. Whether How she's old are we 15, mm. people, 14, 15. people are okay with it. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean uh, they are Christians. My, not even, um, yeah, so. This is even a, a, f a friend of mine from university. Mm -hmm. Her parents got married. Her dad was 19. Her mom was 16. Okay. And she had to get parental, because she consent. was in the States. She okay. had to get parental con um, consent mm -hmm. before she could get married. Yeah. And to me, I just thought, well, why don't you just wait a couple of years? Because if you have to give permission for her to marry, then maybe she's not ready to Thank get married. You. you know, she's not a real adult, yeah. even if she's mature for her age. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, it, it worked out to where, unfortunately, when, when the lady was, when her mom was maybe, I think, almost 40, she was like 39 mm -hmm. or so, they got divorced. Because, and her mom's reason was that I didn't have a youth. Mm. I just got married mm. and then we started having children and I didn't do anything. I've never done anything on my own. I don't know how to live on mm. my own. Mm. And so it ended up being a very bitter divorce. And, wow. you know, and I've read of things that similar things that happen when you get married very, very young. Yes. If you're in the West, like the UK or the, or the US. Even, I know people who even get married at 20 or 21 that say, I feel like I was too young because I didn't. I didn't yeah. really explore anything in my life. And mm -hmm. then next thing, I'm taking care of, you know, a family, a life. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's, it's a very what, what for you would be the, the acceptable age? To get married? Um, either to get married or um, to be able to, to consent to, to a marriage. Because even nowadays, if, if you look at people who, some people who are 18, they're not quite mature enough. Yeah to even I don't think I don't think you should have a different age for marriage and a different age for adulthood yeah I mean most people at 18 adult, if you, you to, so yeah. people, some countries are 21 mm. you can't drink you can't whatever until you're 21 so it depends on wherever you are but I mean if you're 18 if you think you're, you're you can handle certain things you can move out of your father's house at yeah, that, at that age you are maybe probably in university at that point and you're taking certain decisions yourself yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm not necessarily for anyone getting married at, married at 18, 18, but I think it's, it's yeah. probably a fair age to say, yeah. okay, okay. Because, I think do at, because I think at that age, you also yeah. know that no matter what decision you do make, you have to live with the mm. consequences, yeah, whatever they may exactly, be. Exactly. Yeah, you don't worry about adulthood. So. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll still be talking about our topic of the day, which is the child bride. We'll see you guys in just a bit. Welcome back. You guys are still watching The Spot. Um, hopefully you've been keeping tabs on the topic and joining in on the conversation online via Twitter, Facebook. You can also always send us an email. And of course, you can check out old episodes on youtube.com forward slash Ebony Life TV. So please watch, subscribe, rate and share. All right. So our topic of the day, which we're still discussing, is the child bride. And we still have the lovely Ruby Yang in the building. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. 
So something that we touched on earlier was, you know, should there be a different age for, you know, know, marriage or whatever? And I think the answer to that we've pretty much said is no. You shouldn't have a different age from adulthood from marriage. But what do you think is a good age? You know, like would that like, for, okay, you say you have a ten year old. Yeah. Like, what is an age even as after eighteen that you'd mm -hmm. say to her, just wait though, just wait yet? Like, do you think you would say to her, wait till you lock down yourself for the rest of your life? Honestly. Yeah. Thirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, let me, and let me explain why. I agree. Let me explain why. You're gonna, you know, you should be done with college, hopefully 21, 22, that's if the Nigerian system doesn't yeah. do what it does. Do you understand? So you wanna get, I feel like, you, you're finally left your parents after college, finally. So now you need to know who you are outside of them. You need to discover yourself. Then it's also your, your the plan, your goal for your life. You need to sort that out, do you understand? Because it takes two people who are, Full circle, exactly, almost, to yeah. come together to really create that thing yeah, that is marriage. Yeah. Do you understand? Because you're gonna bring these other kids into it, so you need to know what you're doing right. So it takes a while. That's why I feel ideally it should be because by then maybe you've worked for a couple of years. You know, you've discovered yourself. You have some money, and I'm talking like female empowerment type thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you can pay attention to your kids. You can take time out and say, okay, I want to raise these kids. But mm -hmm. then, I know a lot of ladies who, like my. Like a dear friend of mine got married at 25 and she just had kids. She just had kids, mm -hmm. kids, kids. And she just looks back and she's like, if I had known, do you understand? And mm. there's too many women saying that, too many. No. Do you understand? Saying that. But then I know those who waited a bit longer and now they are, do you understand? It. You know, so, I, but I think from like 25, you can mm -hmm. you start thinking about it, you know. Okay. You know, but I feel like enter marriage with something to offer some do you yeah. understand mm. there's nothing yeah. harder than when you get money bills yeah. all those things they can really mess things up yeah, yeah. so that's what, do what you I guys think. think okay yeah i don't know i don't, I don't know that i have a, a particular age um i mean it's nice to have experiences in life generally before mm -hmm. going into anything and learning well at it but i don't know that i have a certain age i mean like i said earlier if you're 18 you're an adult you should have I mean, hopefully you've not experienced everything. <laughs> because I, w I wonder when you now experienced it. Yeah. But I mean, if you're an adult, you have started taking certain decisions by yourself. If you think you're ready, I mean, people who get married at 35 still have regrets sometimes. About mm -hmm. So I can't say wait until a certain time and then, you know, so. If, whatever you feel you're ready, I think. But I mean, just be an adult is what I say. Yeah. I was going to say um, <coughs> sort of like the same thing. You know, once you finish uni and you try to find yourself, I just wish now that there was like an extra 10 years between 20 and 30 that right. I could just slot that <laughs> right? into. Yeah, for you to find yourself and then, you know, start, start thinking about settling down. Yeah. Yes. But it's that's the thing, you know. I think if you, um, when you're very young, marriage is forever. It's for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whoever you believe in, God, whoever, the higher power that you believe in, let's say, gives you at least, we always hope for, you know, at least, let me get to 80, you yeah. know, or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. And let, let, us, let us get to 80, you know, you and the, the person your that you're partner. with. So you get married at 20 or 22 or 23. Mm -hmm. That's almost 60 years with one person. Someone That's a really long, long time. Like, it's just, it's a huge responsibility. And I think sometimes we don't necessarily grasp it until we're in it and then you're in it and it's really too late to I mean well it's not too late you can always get a divorce but nobody wants that really mm -hmm. do they so you know it's one of those things that you have to count you have to really count yeah, your pros cost. and your cons and you know mm -hmm. but you have to be really mature in the mind and be ready to learn and you know can I get in there. tell you guys that um, so I was reading up on some of the uh, justifications for early child marriages and one of them was that, um, you know, a lot of people get into it because they feel like it's a uh, deterrence for premarital sex. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's a ridiculous excuse. But there's a lot of ridiculous excuses. For I mean, a lot of things, it, it, right? There's no excuse, actually, for being a child bride. But yeah. I mean, if, like we have here, if our laws are still not serious enough yes. to tackle yes. things like that, it's almost hard to talk about it without necessarily offending people yeah. because they feel like they have a right to do it. So. Yeah. But yeah, let's just quickly switch gears to someone who's also married to her music. Mm. <laughs> we have a child bride of music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we shine the spotlight on Lil Miss Miss. 
It's just my exhaust that I'm piping. They said I was nobody, so they treat me like a mannequin. Now they see me, I guess I became mannequin. I said I'm good, get it, see I'm in the wall. Check the status, now I'm getting ego with the big ego. And I smell like the boss, now Hugo. Hey soldier, I can make you stand at attention. Keep it low, keep DMs, no mention. My name is Little Miss Miss. Born Minem Sampson, and I am an artist. My style of music is self interpreted <laughs> um, I do hip hop, R and B, Afro beats. Yeah, started off as a dancer. Um, I dance, sing, and I rap. So dance, singing, rap, and then now a fusion of all three. I have a I won't necessarily say role models. I just have a lot of musical influences and people I look up to and that inspire me. Nikki would be one of them, because I mean, she's the best rapper out now, but it doesn't necessarily mean that my style is her. Um, I listen to a lot of, right now, Kendrick, Drake, um, I love Jean Iko, um, Biggie, always, all the time, um, Little Kim. I listen to a lot of people, honestly. I listen to a lot of music, so. There's, there's no limit to what female MCs, female artists in general in Nigeria. There's no limit to what we can do. We have to build our own careers ourselves. You have to see where you wanna be and go after it. Everyday life inspires me. Everyday life inspires me the way I feel about Certain things inspires my mood, inspires my music, inspires me for the day. Like waking up, waking up and driving down Third Mainland <laughs> inspires me. Seeing where I come from and seeing where I want to be headed, that's what inspires me. The future is bright for Little Miss Miss. I want to be successful in life, I want to be successful at whatever I do. So the future for me right now is a lot of work and money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, a dream collabo would be Drake because I love the way he explores femininity. Like I love the way he explores female emotion and working with people like that just brings out so much more in you. I own the spotlight because I'm the only little miss miss out there. I'm the chick with the red hair and I'm the baddest. I own the spotlight because I am proudly African, and I want to make Africa proud. Okay, guys, that was Little Miss Miss. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we do have a pet peeve or sweet spot for you guys. See you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching The Spot. It's time now for our Monday fitness segment with Adura. Let's find out what she has for us today. Hi, welcome to Monday Fitness with Adura. Today we're going to be dealing with lower back pain. Now everyone suffers from lower back pain from those who exercise and those who don't. Now for those who work out, the problem is we don't stretch enough or we have improper form and that tends to go to the lower back. For people, for everyone else, for those that work out or not, we sit down a lot. We sit down at work, we sit down at home, it's just our lifestyle. This tightens the back of our legs, as our hamstrings, and that pulls on the back. So today, we're going to show you three ways to get rid of lower back pain. And assisting me again today is Cynthia. The first thing you need to do is to strengthen your core. I'll just show you one exercise. There are loads of exercises that you can do to strengthen your core. Today, Cynthia is going to show you the plank, my favorite exercise. You're going to start on your elbows. All right, with the plank, you make sure your hips don't dip because this way you can even hurt your back. You lift your hips up a bit. You have a nice straight line, shoulder blades together, legs straight, and you squeeze your abs. Okay, with the plank, you can hold for anywhere from 10 seconds to 60 seconds. Rest for at least, at most, 30 seconds and go for three to four sets. Thank you. Now, the second way is to make sure you're stretching. There are lots of exercises that you can do post-workout, but I'll show you a back stretch. This is a lying spinal twist, and Cynthia will show you. You start on your back, leg straight. Now you get your right knee to your chest. Hug just your right knee. Okay, hug both hands. You start there, other hand. 
Okay, now watch this. Same knee that is bent, you extend that arm to the floor, all right? You use your opposite hand to pull your knee to that opposite side while you're looking this way. You see you're twisting the back, but obviously in a gentle manner. You hold this for as long as you can. Don't force it, just breathe into it, relax. And if you can, your knee will touch the floor. If you can't, that is fine. Hold this from anywhere to 30 seconds, anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute, all right? And I'll show you on the other side, back to the middle, you straighten out that leg, exactly, all right? You look that way, you wanna keep your shoulders flat on the floor, all right? Again, you hold this for 30 seconds to one minute. Now, the third and final thing is something that saved my back. Very simple. All you need is a chair. And Cynthia, if you bend your knees, lift up your legs. You just need a chair. Put your feet on the chair, your legs on the chair. And I'll just bring you closer. Lift your legs up. And there. Okay. Just going to rest here for anywhere up to 30 minutes. I know that sounds long, but it makes a big difference. The reason for this is you're yeah, stretching out the back very gently and just easing any tension you have in your lower back. Now, I know you might get bored doing this, so you can watch TV or even grab a book. For more, check out my blog at www.adura-o.com or come find us here at Central Fitness at Central Lekki Mall, Lekki Phase 1, Lagos. Until next week, stay active. Bye. Those are some really good tips. Very good tips. Mm -hmm. And she should know because she, I think she told me once that she had a really bad injury once and they told her it was because, you know, the reason her, her lower back hurt so was, much was hurting so bad was because over time she hadn't been stretching properly. So mm. that had caused the muscles to kind of like knot up. So mm. yeah, those are very good tips. Are you a fitness? Are you part of the fit fam? Do I look like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you look yeah, good. You look good. <laughs> you do. No, but I try. I try. I promised myself that, you know, I'm just going to go hard. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> but I'm looking at next year, like, just entry. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. guys, 2015. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was earlier this year. But <laughs> yeah, that's how it starts. Yes. So, um, so it is time. Are you okay with <laughs> Yeah. I'm worried. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> that's what I like to do to people. It's Spring. time for Game On. Okay. We like to play games here on the spot. And um, we'll play, what do you guys want to play? You want to play the humming game? Um, should we play the humming game or should we play concentration? Let's play concentration. Okay. Do you have to play concentration, Ruby? Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. so there's no alcohol involved. Okay. But, we but have if you um, hesitate or miss out four times, then yeah. um, you, you have, have to do, do 20 push ups. So just don't miss. Don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay so I'll start. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. Girls' names beginning with R. Ruby. Rita. R See me right. Ruby tried to take my turn. So like sorry. No, she but tried to take my turn. No, no, she tried to take one. my turn. But you had said it, sorry. Okay, concentration, fine. Concentration, concentration. <laughs> concentration. Names of guys starting with R. Roland. Ralph. Roth. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that>. <laughs> 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 concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of Ruby tracks. <laughs> Good man. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, she doesn't have wow, wow yet. I think that's coming out in 2015. One. Okay. <laughs> Ruby, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> concentration, concentration. Wait, wait, wait. But is that fair? Concentration, Very old concentration. <laughs> okay. Um, names of Nigerian states porno. Cob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, I was thinking Co Yobe and Kano, and I was like, Kobe. Kobayashi. <laughs> Gosh. Two. Labide. Um. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of African books. What? <laughs> Things fall apart. How about for Yellow Sun? Yellow, uh, yellow yeah. <laughs> I was three. going through That's Yellow Sun yeah, yeah, yeah. and Purple High Two. 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 Okay. That two is three. She's on three She's on now. Th ah, you're two. on three. No, hey, push no, ups on three. Hey, you say we're walking out. You're warm up with two, two. Um, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. <laughs> three of you on two. Ruby and I like you. Concentration, <laughs> concentration. Concentration. <laughs> Names. <laughs> oh my God. Who wants to finish this one? Concentration, concentration. Concentration. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a PR. <laughs> She's so sad. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Names of. Colors. Uh, just color it. On Zena Blue. 
Yellow. Black. White. Where's, <laughs> where's the white? I seen. I saw your bra. It's white. <laughs> For I did. My bra is not white. <laughs> are you going to show? Black. Are you going to prove? It, it, are you going to show and prove? It is. It's the inside. It is you black know with it. with hints white of white. Zainab. Thank you. Then Zainab. white is on you. Please continue. Your turn. Concentration. 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 I don't have three colors. Let me see you the push now. On <laughs> ruby, red, purple, black, yellow, white. <laughs> <laughs> yellow. Yes, yes there, yellow. there's yellow there. Let me know. Where's yellow? At the bottom of her shoe. No problem. I think we have white. I said white. Ruby, your turn. Okay, concentration, concentration. No, you have to give a color that's on you. <laughs> she has it. She's I, one time. There, there, there are no more colors. Then you're out. Breaks, I'm day. not out. <laughs> We've called all the colors. Before the guest what about gets black, really Ruby? Zainab, don't fight what? with the guest. She said black. black. She said black. <laughs> What about brown or chocolate? Hey, what about we go on a break? <laughs> yes, how about We're going to do that, guys. I'll see you in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to The Spot, guys. We're having so much fun here with Ruby in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's time for Lamide to share a sweet spot. Yes. Do you have one for us today? I do. A sweet spot. My sweet... So your sweet spot. <laughs> What's your sweet spot? Sweet? <laughs> well, like my sweet? sweet spot is whenever I'm not around them. Oh, like, wow. That might be Why it. Why are you lying? Ow, that Whatever. hurts. Okay, no. Hello. My sweet spot for the day. We all know I really love music and things like that. So my sweet spot is when... I finally learn all the lyrics to a song, to a song and then I can sing it. Like, you know, because in my car, when mm -hmm. I'm in my car singing, I'm like Beyonce. Your oh. car. Like, I'm in, in my car. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Be you can't tell me there's, there's no note I can't hit in that car. When I learn all the lyrics and all the runs, all the... Mm, <laughs> that's my sweet spot. Because then I just, nice. I get, I hit the song with gusto. Oh, yeah. But nice. you do know that you, you Google, are... You Google lyrics, you do. Do I go Oh, yeah. Wow. Sometimes. When, if I can't figure it out, mm -hmm. you know, because it's just memory. If you know them, but if mm. you can't figure out, if you can't hear something, yeah, then I always, I'll Google and, and look for them. I'm like, okay. A to Z fine. lyrics? They're really dedicated. It's, of course. Yes, Everybody been there. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's my sweet spot. Okay. Do you have a sweet spot, Ruby? Something that just makes your heart melt? Yeah. When I get a free moment to be by myself with a book, massive mug of tea. Mm. Do you understand? I'll just shut the curtain. Shut the world out, just man. Shut, just, that is it for me. That is it. Hmm. That's you a have a no, no man there, just with your pillow. No. No. <sighs> she said a book, a book, and you, tea. a good book. <laughs> Sorry, just I just, I just want to um, note something. You have a, an amazing smile. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And it just like I remember every time I see you on stage, mm -hmm. and she's flirting with the crowd, mm -hmm. and she does that thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, she's like it. it yeah, she's <laughs> like you <laughs> really feel like she's she's talking to you. Well, that's she that's can't. that's my my idea to perform. I like to I'm like a very much a one on one person. Yes. I suck mm. with crowds, so I, I kind of focus on focus one, on one yeah. person. Although it's kind of awkward because I'm poor, I'm just like <laughs> I don't think Nigerians like direct stares. No, they yeah. don't. Yeah. Right? They don't like mm -hmm. too much. And that's contact. the only way. I, if I'm not looking at you, I'm not listening to you. Oh. So I'm just like no, I'm singing. They're like I'm like okay, I guess not. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can look at me anytime. Okay. Calm down. I'm still beefing you. you Let me report him. Okay, what did please do? do. When I first came out, because I was nobody, I was upcoming. I That's was begging him to be my video. He just did me. I don't do video. You, were you not anymore. in the shocky video? <gasps> he was. Second. Second video. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I'm putting out there. I'm doing a video soon. Do you know what? You need single. to get yourself Ooh. a nice hot man with like 20 packs, right? To make him feel good. Oh, the packs cool. end here. I don't do <laughs> so you owe me, and my next video is coming. So Ooh. not a video. Can I do Did anything you? but a video? No, you just no. You just, just be yourself. Can you not videos. be sexy in a Why video? I videos. This is not my thing. Do you okay. need? You're, look at you I'll, here. I'll ruin your video. You will not. I will. You, will. you don't you want pose. that to happen. You wow. just pose. Why wow, you rejected me on national TV? <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, I'll be in your video for I'll free too. Sure. To my mahala. Not a you. <laughs> <laughs> she might go write a song about you. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, I think that's a good one. It's all right. Mm -mm. Good man. No. Bad too. Heck no. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. She's not name all of them except for Ibu. <laughs> <laughs> good man. Remix. Except for Ibu. I love it. Really? Oh. Okay. So Are you working on anything right now? I am. I just finished recording the last song. No. Yes, recording the last song for my EP is dropping this month by God's Woo! grace. It's called This Is Love. Mm -hmm. And it's just talking about different expressions of love from heartbreak to crushing over someone mm. to love for him, for um, for man, good man, mm -hmm. to I hate you, love, mm. you know, but just love, love, love. So Ooh, I'm really excited love, about love, it. Love, 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 yeah. Nice. So yeah. look yeah. forward to seeing <laughs> that. Good, um, Any plans of 
doing a switcheroo anytime soon. The, the that, next single, the next happen? single are going to be kind of surprised about. A little dancey. So giving you guys mm. something. It's giving you a little taste. You know, very fella car. inspired. Oh, okay. nice. Yes. Okay, looking forward yeah. to that. Yes. Looking forward to what that. What about collaborations? Yes, I have Nika. <gasps> oh, <yay. laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calling herself. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, I've always wanted to work with Nika since 2008 when I first saw her. And then I thought, like, okay, maybe when I'm a big star, she'll have my time. And then somehow, somewhere, I met her through a friend of mine, Kid Connect, a producer. And I was like, wow, that's good. She was like, of course. So she just came, heard the song that day, that day, recorded it. Do you understand? She nailed it. It's called Beautiful. I'm really, well, she made a video for it as well. Yay, excited. <laughs> really excited. I have Nato C. I have Ajabota 22. Oh. Um, production features from MI Chopsticks. Um, lot of producers awesome. exciting stuff. Yes. Yes. congrats good luck looking forward to all of that thank you and thanks for coming thank, thank you for you. having me yeah. this was fun thank great you. stuff it's time for us to go now guys you can also join the conversation even though the show is over on twitter facebook and via email and we're gonna go now thanks for joining us see you next time toodles i know all of but it's okay go Sun, no go stop to shine. Oh my goodness, you can sing. She stopped singing. No go stop to grow. The spot was brought to you by Amstel Malta.